On the School Watch meantime, the Pajaro Valley Unified School District is offering free school meals to low income families. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has the story live from Santa Cruz. Well, Dan, the school board approved the plan that allows working poor families enrolled in their reduced school meal programs and will no longer have to pay for their child's breakfast or lunch. Of the 20,000 K through 12th grade students enrolled in the Pajaro Valley Unified School District, about 1,300 qualify for the free meals. In the past, families were charged 40 cents for each meal, but by the end of the school year, they just couldn't pay. Last week, the district decided it would pick up the cost for those meals, taking the burden off parents who qualify for the program. There really are working poor families here in Watsonville. They are working. They don't qualify for other federal or state subsidies. And it is a hardship for them to try to figure out how they're going to come up with their portion in order to send their kids to school to get a meal. And sometimes we don't do that much. And we have to pay rent. And we have to pay bills and everything, food. And that helps uh, help us a lot. The district has set aside $100,000 to feed the working poor students, but they anticipate spending about $70,000 this school year. Dan? All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Phil. The district is still accepting applications if you qualify, and they'll take them through the school year.